What's up everyone, Carnage here, and let's check out Splash Cars on Xbox. This game is published by East Asia Soft and developed by East Asia Soft and Paper Bunker. It released on March 8, 2022 for a price of $6.99. So Splash Cars is an isometric 3D driving game where you're basically going around the town and trying to make it go from a dull, dreary town to a very colorful one. And the way you do that, as the title may imply, is you splash paint onto the buildings and area around you as you drive through the town. So it's a cool mechanic. Um, see what I did there, guys? Because it's a car, you know, driving game. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so basically you drive around and try to make the town colorful again. And there are all sorts of power-ups and hazards and things along the way. Um, I have not played it yet, so we're going to take a look at the game from the very beginning uh, and give you my first impressions of it. So uh, we're going to start it off right here. It brings us into the tutorial. I've only literally just started the tutorial there, so we're going to do that here to start it off. Uh, it looks like we have the left stick to move, right stick, I'm not sure what it does. Uh, maybe you can drive with either one, and the left trigger and the right trigger. They don't actually tell you, but I guess we'll figure it out along the way. Alright. Um, okay, so right trigger or... Wow, you could turn... Okay, so the interesting thing about this game is it's very easy to uh, to start and get the hang of because you don't actually have many controls. All you, you can use any of those buttons, I noticed. You automatically move the car. Uh, it's literally automatically moving on its own. All you gotta do is turn and steer. So, using only the left stick right now, or you can use the right trigger and the left trigger, or alternatively, the right stick as well. So, take your pick. Uh, I'm out of fuel. Apparently, they taught us in the tutorial that now we are out of fuel. So, we can claim this here, uh, and... It shows you how close you are to certain achievements as well. That's kind of neat. Uh, we can take a look later at the whole achievement list, but for now we're just going to get right into it uh, and get the hang of the game. Um, so we got some coins there, as well as... Uh, I think we got an achievement as well. There we go. Uh, Three-star a level already. Okay, I'll take it. I didn't expect to three-star that in the first try, but okay. Um, you can also buy new cars here, it looks like. There's a shop, there's a featured car. Uh, we have different ones with different stats, I believe. Okay, and we need 10 of those like stamp things, the blue uh, blue cards to unlock that. And then some are costing money as well, or in-game, all in-game currency, coins or blue stuff. Uh, no microtransactions in this game, thankfully. But yeah, there's a bunch of cars to choose from as you unlock different rarities of them. Pretty nice designs. Oh, we even get a tank. A crazy Titan tank at the end. Uh, but that's awesome. Alright, so there's also local multiplayer I wanted to point out. Um, up to uh, four players locally. No online, sadly, but that's fine. Uh, also, I can't back... Okay, I can go back. There we go. Uh, we also have the option screen. Very briefly, I'm just going to show you guys uh, languages to choose from here. Uh, there's a couple there. And, uh, yeah, some basic and sound and music options. And if you want to zoom in, uh, camera zoom. But I'm not going to mess with that stuff. We're just going to get right back to the campaign. Single player. So we've done uh, the tutorial part, although it says 49%. I'm actually going to replay it and see if I can find some of uh, gas canisters. There are also power-ups here along the way. And, yeah, you just try to... Oh, there's a stamp thing as well. Um, maybe we don't get gas, uh, fuel here in this tutorial. But yeah, it's basically, you just go around in big areas and try to clear as much as you can. And there we go. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I don't want to go on that, uh, type of paint there. Okay. Well then. Kind of want to go over new areas, but, uh, get as much as you can. Go in a widespread, curvy path. And whatnot, and uh, we might have, yeah, we were able to get some more stuff there. We already had the 35% needed uh, from before, but now we're gonna actually move on to level one. And uh, they need 60% in this level. Okay, for three stars at least. Now, here are the fuel cans, uh, so we should probably try to save that. Oh crap. Uh, is this actually okay? There we go. That's so neat, though, how it just automatically, like, um, wait, that's not good. 
we are outside of the area where we need to be. So, yeah. There we go. You can't actually slow down either. Um, which is, I guess, part of the point of the game. I don't think you can slow down. They don't tell us any other controls. Like, it's literally just... Yeah. Um, well, at least the cop is not making it uh, change color again. But, man, the people in this town don't know how to fucking drive. <laughs> um, well... We have, how much percent did we get? 51? Uh, free, one save remaining? I don't know. I don't know if we can get that free all the time. So I'm going to actually give up that time, let it finish, and retry it. Um, of course, later on, you can get better cars and go back, I'm sure. Um, that will probably be the way to do it. But let's try one more time on that one. Um, I'm actually going to go back if I can. So we did unlock the next level, but, you know, like I said, uh, you can go back and forth and try to do better on them if you want, uh, save some more fuel. So I'm not going to pick up the fuel until I really need it this time. Um, there we go. Oh, hello there. <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping the blue is actually good. Like, that stuff there, is that actually clearing it? I don't know. I hope this is counting, like the, the blue um, or gray stuff. I don't see it counting, and I'm a little worried about that. Uh, yeah, that I am not using on here. So I'm not sure exactly yet about that. I'm still trying to learn, um, but yeah. I think we're going to move on um, until we get better vehicles to come back. So yeah. Let us try level two. Uh oh. Nope. <laughs> oh, I see what's happening. Once you go over the road there, I see. You gotta, you gotta continue it from. Okay, interesting. Very cool. I like the concept of that. You have to, like, grab the green again. And, yeah. It's uh, a little trickier than it seems at first. Let's get that gas if we can, hopefully. There we go. Oh, no! Well, then. Uh, we did not do well. Not at all. <laughs> I'm not going to waste it there. Let's actually see if we could buy a better car soon. I I'm still trying to figure out all the stuff with the... Uh... Okay, so we got 20%. 40%, sorry. Uh, there's another thing there. I'm actually going to check uh, that later on. Let's lower that. Um... Okay, so... Yeah, we're just going to progress again. Level three. So we got to figure out how we can splash that green paint over here correctly. It's not easy. You can't just, like... Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of unsure how to do that. This is not the way to do it. Uh, there's no restart right away. That's kind of dumb. I don't know if there's a restart button, but yeah. We almost have, I think we have enough for a new car, though. Let's take a look. Uh, that one has a sale. We don't have enough money for that yet, either. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to buy a new car for now. Paint me. <laughs> oh, you can buy different paint jobs for more money as well. Car owner. Okay. Well, we needed the car anyway for an achievement, so... Uh, let's try this level again. And try to stay inside the lines here. Like that. And get as many as we can. That's not optimal, but okay. Don't know how to get across without it. 
Yeah. Okay, there we go. Gotta get to the bottom one. Nope, we need that one. Damn it. Oh, we got more gas uh, fuel there. So let's try to go that way, I guess. Yeah, I can't get that green one across, though. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. But we're doing a little better. Uh-oh, no, I don't want that one. Damn it. I can't figure out how to get that green across there. Like, that's the problem I'm having. Uh, apparently I did something there, though, correct? Okay, then. Huh. So it's in the different areas. I see. I, I see how to do it now. Um, basically, you gotta get that across that way, and then we can go in there and uh, go around and try that. Oh, man! <laughs> Damn, that's insane. Okay. Well, uh, we're gonna make our way around here again. Uh, and, oh, we got... Let's see what we got. Two stars. We got two stars on that one. Okay. Alright, so we're going to move on to the next one here. Let's see how we did on that one. Oh, okay. So I'm getting the hang of it a little more now. you got to find the right spots to uh, continue the green on. But we unlocked the next level, so here we go. And it looks like there's a lot of like customization and different cars you can get that actually give you different um, speeds and gasoline counts, you know, fuel and whatnot. So, a decent amount of depth in the game. Uh, there's also a bunch of levels. Um, you don't have to do all of them for the achievements, but you can get... Uh, you, you, I think you only have to do like a couple of them to get all the achievements. So I'm, I may as well show you guys the achievements now that we're mentioning that. Uh, collect some power-ups. Uh, finish the level 5. Okay, so 3-star ratings, we need a couple of those. Uh, drive total distances. Collect a bunch of power-ups. Uh, coins as well. Uh, some cumulative ones, then we have to own certain cars and reach certain distances. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, a lot of cumulative achievements there and own different cars and then just get through a couple of the levels. I think level 15 is the last level that you need to beat, but there are actually more after that, for sure. There's a lot more uh, content in the game as well. So uh, with that said, let's try the next level here and see if we can, can uh, see if we can figure it out a little more. Uh, we got a new power up there. Uh, where the hell is the green on this one? Oh, okay, so we, the different landmarks are what causes the green. Now I figured it out. They don't actually tell you. You have to just clear the building to make that green show up. Um, I wish they told you that, but it's kind of an experimental. Like, you kind of learn as you go. But uh, it is a cool game so far. It's a nice little chill, you know, easy to get used to kind of game. Um, perfect for like playing in between other games I would say you know there's not a whole lot of like meat to the game otherwise but it's kind of neat you know it's it's doing what it's supposed to like it's a uh, casual relaxing arcade style uh, driving top-down driving game and it's something different than I've seen before um, I have not you know played a game where you drive around and color uh, the area around you uh, splash paint onto it, so that's kind of neat. Um, so we, we got, what we got there? Let us see. Decent, but not enough. <laughs> they said I, I did decent, but you know what? Let's do that again. I did not. So we got to get the landmarks here, and we missed that paint, but oh well. We got to get over there. And if we clear that house there, I think that gives you a lot more. So yeah. Go all the way around here, all the way down here, all the way here. And just dodge them. There we go. Not doing a great job of getting clearing as, you know, 
you can't clear everything. You gotta clear as much as you can. You can get coins along the way and the blue things. So we're just gonna try to paint all over here and then get some more gasoline as well. If I could find it. I don't know if I can get there in time. Oh man, we barely made it there. No! Oh, we got it. We got another gasoline. All right. No, that's not the one we wanted. Uh, we have a free repair uh, save, but I'm going to keep that for later if we really need it. Um, we got, I think, 56% it said on the top right. So we can always come back with better cards later on. Um, yeah, that's good enough to move on, at least for now. And uh, here we are, on to the next one. Oh, it looks like if we get uh, 5,000 meters uh, driven, we actually get a uh, extra, you know, percent, 2% canister size. So we kind of get upgrades as we get the different achievements, I think. Uh, pretty sure that's how it works here. That's kind of neat, because we have been claiming these different rewards. And uh, they're not only for the achievements, apparently. You get actual uh, upgrades and items for doing those. So that's kind of cool. All right. So let's play the next level. Try to be sparing with our... Um, with our fuel cans there. Uh, what happened there? <laughs> Damn. Well then. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, that kind of worked. Oh, we can't get over there. Okay. That's strange. We gotta find more fuel. Okay. And we'll get that side as well. This one will be good. I'll take that. Go in here, get that area out. Why is that not clearing it? Maybe there's no more there you can do? I don't know. Uh, but we got some more going on. And there we go. Uh, 60%. We almost actually got three stars with the shitty car, too. So, hey, I'll take it. Nice. We can claim some more rewards here. We got a on-time bonus and that one as well. Brush up, power up. Astonishing performance. Haha. <laughs> well, then. We reached, uh, finished level 5. So yeah, like I said, there are, um, there are more than 15 levels, but you only need 15 if you want to get the 1,000 gamer score, and uh, it should be a pretty easy and fun completion, uh, probably like around an hour and a half or so, depending on skill. But uh, it doesn't seem too bad, especially after you get better cars, because uh, they do have better stats, as you can see. So just grind a little bit if you need to, play further levels, come back, and replay other levels if you want to get all three stars. Uh, you only need three stars in some of them as well. You don't need to get all three-star ratings, uh, by the way. So it's like, I think uh, eight is the amount that you need total uh, for three stars. But if you just, you know, for fun, of course, you can go for going for all of them and maxing out everything. And uh, there's a decent amount of replay value then. Especially since you could as well uh, play in multiplayer, as I mentioned. Local multiplayer with up to four players. So, uh, yeah, there's a decent uh, amount of stuff here to do. Uh, not too bad. It's a uh, $6.99 value. Uh, I'm sorry, not $6.99 is the price of the game. And yeah, it's a pretty good value overall. I would say it's a pretty fun little game. Uh, nothing amazing, nothing, uh, you know, nothing like... It, I guess the, the, the idea of it is, uh, you know, what they're going for here is just a little fun, relaxing arcade racing game. And I like the concept where you're uh, splashing paint onto, uh, you know, the areas around you and going from a dull town to a very colorful one. So I like the idea of the game there, and it's kind of a nice little chill game. 
Um, aside from that, I think that's going to do it for now, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed my look at Splash Cars. It's out now once again on Xbox and other platforms as well. So uh, I'm going to put the store link in the video description below, as always. Uh, thanks again for watching the video. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I uh, appreciate all your support, guys, and I'll see you again soon in the next video.